Hello, boys and girls. A user asked me about bringing in some of this neon stuff from Daz into iClone. He's saying basically, hey, the neon colors don't come in. <laughs> and that is true. So let me show you how to fix that. Uh, it's, yes, that's my cat talking, and she, she's going to help us fix it too. So first of all, in Daz, I brought in these couple of these signs. It's cocktails and this male female sign. Hopefully this isn't politically incorrect to show a male female sign anymore. I'm not even sure. Well, maybe this sign represents all the other sexes. I don't know. Um, any case, uh, so I, I went ahead and saved this as FBX. You know, you guys know how to do that. And then we go to FBX and we go to exports and we go to drag those neon signs in to iClone 8. And it asked me, want to break up them sub props? Sure. We want, we want both of those to be two different props. Okay. So now, as you can see, they come in as <laughs> kind of colorless. So let's go to the scene and look at this boy and girl shape just for, uh, for fun. So as you can see, it's not glowing in any respect. Well, uh, the glow actually has to come from a couple of different places. So what we want to do is go into Modify, and you go into the, te the Textures, Materials, okay? And the first thing we want to do is, see, it's got two there. It's got one for the boy and one for the girl. So go into the glow slot here, and we add gray. We always want to add gray, and the reason we want to add gray is if you add white, you can't, um, you can't change the color. You can't adjust it in any way. So then we saturate it, and now you can actually add a hue to it. So we can uh, adjust this and play around with it, and uh, let's fully saturate that and make it, a let's say, a pinkish, because that's like female. I'm sorry this isn't politically correct, but... But that's basically uh, what a female is. And you, can, and you can see we get something of a glow there now, but we still don't get the actual pure color there. The reason for that being is that we don't really have a color here. We have uh, white as the color. So we want to have a, a pinkish color there. So, okay, now we got pink. And now it's sort of glowing. You can see it's kind of glowing in the scene. And if you wanted to add it to have, actually have some light, what you'd want to do is make sure you have... Um, uh, GI turned on global illumination and you want to make the global illumination add some light to the scene if we had this as a scene you would see that that adds light but it still isn't glowing a lot the reason for that is we've got to go to visual and turn on HDR turn on HDR and you can see already it starts glowing more and now we can play with the bloom scales and get it to, to glow even more there and the brightness threshold you can play around with that and and get there so that's how you actually get the neon to be neon. And uh, if you want this to be more transparent, you know, you can go in and modify it and change the, uh, the op opacity to get it to be a little bit, you know, less transparent, but you'll still have to play around with your glows and things. But that's, anyway, that's how you get things to glow. Uh, and so for, for all those glowing signs, we're going to have to do all of those things. So hopefully that makes sense, boys and girls. I'm sorry this is so short, but I really am just just an avalanche of work right now. So uh, if this doesn't answer any of your questions, be sure to let me know in the comments, and I'm always happy to try to help. And we'll see you on the forums.